Hey, hey, how is everybody? We're here doing our first tutorial this week and we're gonna use up some of those goodies that we made last week, some of those embellishments. So let's start off with this adorable wagon that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are 50% off because it's part of the spring collection, I believe, so it's $15. So it's not a bad base at all. Oh, this is backwards, there we go. Now pay attention because one of mine was missing the um, bolt that held this in, so this fell off at checkout, thankfully, before I left. So, let's actually just tuck that back up under there while we work. Okay, so I have my wagon, and then I have two of my Gaps and Cracks patties that I already had made, and I'm just sticking those down in there. And what I'm going to do is, hmm, do I wanna glue them or do I not? I don't think I'm gonna glue them, just in case I wanna take them out. You know what I'm saying? I might want to take this out when it's done. No, let's go ahead and glue them. We're just gonna make this set in place. So I'm just gonna dab some glue on each one and we'll just glue it to the bottom. It'll glue really well to that metal. Those to fit in there nice and snug together and then we're going to take our floral pins we've got this big bag from Hobby Lobby and our Spanish moss because it looks like grass it's bright green and pretty and we're going to cover these gaps and cracks patties now I think I got this from Walmart but you can get it at Walmart or um, Hobby Lobby It's lasted me so long, I forgot where I bought it from. Now I can just take a big piece like that and just spread that out. And then just take a couple of floral pins to hold it in place. All right, let's take some more and spread it out here. I'm really mainly trying to get the edges because you know we fill these up, so it is gonna fill up the center with all of our goodies, but we just need to get a good coverage going for the edge of these patties. And the edge of our cart. I'm gonna stick some right there. Just gonna kind of go put the pin on the edge of it to either side just to hold that there in the front. All right, that's enough for now. We only have a little bit left over anyway, but we'll save that for any coverage that we need after we get our stuff put in here. So let's set this to the side and start adding our goodies. We're definitely gonna add our big embellishments first, that way we can work around it with all of our smaller stuff. So I have my two ICs. I'm still just not super happy with how this icy turned out. It just got thin, it fell, but you know, we're gonna use it because it's adorable. Now my blue one, I'm liking my blue one. I do like the blue. So, oh, y'all can't even see that. Y'all have to excuse the background back there. Got a little laundry hamper going on. All right, I want to bring this icy in here. And I really wanted to stagger them like so. I do not want this one here, so I, I do wanna go ahead and get it attached. Now, I'm gonna take my floral pin and I'm gonna to come to the back of this and I'm gonna see if I can get it to stick through here without compromising it too much. There we go. So I just stuck it through the back of the cup right there. So I can just help stick it into that foam. 
like so. Give that some extra stability. I'm gonna come here in the front and see if I can do the same thing. I'm trying to just get the lip and not go inside the cup. There we go. All right, stick that down into the foam. There we go. So now we have um, some stability going on there. I hate that y'all are seeing that hamper in the background. Like, ew, come on now. Sorry guys. It's just part of being my work area, right? Just part of working where you are. I would go work out in my shed, but you know, it's hot. And in here, there's air conditioner. All right, so I'm just going around the edge of this and put some glue. Definitely put some glue on those floral pins. But everywhere this is touching, just go around that edge and get some glue on it. All right, it's already super cute. Already super cute. Now I have to figure out where I want this little guy. Because I kind of wanted him laying to the side. But I also need to figure out what else I want to have going in here. Because I do have our hot dog. We have our hot dog and we have our hamburger. Obviously, I have some little picks in this hamburger. So I did imagine it sitting up this way. So let's go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, y'all, my allergies are getting the best of me this morning. These storms coming through just really got me messed up. All right, I clipped that down a little bit shorter. And I'm going to go ahead and get this in here like so. So I'm just going to stick this down into the floral foam. Floral foam. Gaps and cracks, this is not floral foam. And see how I told y'all we you weren't going to see the bottom of this? And then once we get our goodies in here, you're really not going to be able to see it. So we have our hamburger there. And so I had imagined putting my hot dog right here. And so I'm just trying to see where I want this other little icy to go. I feel like I want it to go right there. All right, so let's get a floral pin and make sure I know which way I want it to face. I definitely want it going that way. So this is our back. So let's do the same thing with this one. I'm just sticking it through here if I can. These cups are really thick. They're really good cups. There we go. get it into that gaps and cracks make sure it's where I want it right in there so I really want one to come right in here to hold this up okay it actually is easier to go through the side wall of the cup instead of going through the edge just for reference Now, I do want it to stand up more this direction. I don't want it to lay over. So let's see if I can get one more in here that'll hold this. There we go. All right, now let's get some glue on all of it.
I'm going to stand that up against it because I want it to dry like that. So I have a lot of glue on it and I'm just going to use the weight of those bolt cutters right there to hold that in place. All right, now let's get our hot dog. Get our little hot dog in here. I think I want to come right in here with it, right off to the side. Now it's really lightweight. I could have put some picks in this, but I think I'm just gonna see if I can get this to drive through. So close. There we go. And now I can just stick this floral pin in there for some stability and glue it down. Just like that. Except I'm gonna make that fall because I'm messing around over here. I don't want that moving that much. It's never gonna dry in the right place if I let it just keep moving. Sorry guys, excuse my arm for a second. Let's get this hot dog glued down. That's driving me bananas, it keeps moving. Stop doing that. I want it to lean, but I want it to lean right there. I'm gonna have to get some more foam and prop it up under there. So I'm just gonna take a piece off of this little block that I use for everything. And I'm just gonna cut a little piece off of there with my scissors. And I'm gonna see if I can't wedge this in here. Perfect. Well, that worked out great. That was a perfect height, and I'm just gonna wedge it up in there to hold that where I want it, and I'm just gonna glue it to the foam. And once we get all our goodies in there, nobody will be able to see it. So see, I just wedged that little piece up under there just to hold that right in place where I wanted it. All right, so we have our big components in there and it already filled this up a lot. So now we can just start playing around with all of our smaller stuff that we wanna fill this up with. So first off, we're gonna start off with some greenery, obviously. And I have this really bright, grassy looking greenery. And I'm trying to remember where I got it, but I don't remember. But any bright greenery will work. Just use this. Hello? Oh, hey. I think I got this from General Wholesale. Um, it almost looks like a eucalyptus, but it's not. Love you. Okay. And I'm just going to run, start running this around a little bit and get some filler in here. I think this is just some fun little greenery. Definitely bringing in some brightness there. And it brings in a little bit of height with those pieces, because we do want this to be a bigger arrangement. Let's see if I can get y'all up a little higher.
Try to move y'all around a little bit so y'all can make sure and see it really well. It would help if I turn on the light, I think. Let there be light. Can't believe I forgot to turn the light on. That's much better. Okay. more of these I'm just going to bring to the back here. I'm giving it some height. Love that. Love that. Now I have this greenery too that I had thought about adding because it kind of looks like some lettuce. I really liked this for Easter. So I was just going to play around with it a little bit and see if I liked it in here. It does remind me of lettuce. I'm going to clip that bottom piece off so I can get a pick. Too high. I don't want it to go that high, I want it to lay down. This is not appeasing me. There we go. As weird as that is, I like it. Got to have a little lettuce with our lunch. <clears throat> a little lettuce with our lunch. And it's just another texture, another bright greenery. To come in with that other greenery. And when it comes to greenery and playing it into your centerpieces and your wreaths and things, it really just comes down to using what you got. You can really make anything work. It doesn't have to be perfect. Everybody thinks that everything has to be perfect, and it just doesn't. See if I can get right in here behind this icy. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Love that. Love that. That is looking super cute. <clears throat> now, I am going to go ahead and put a little bow in here so we can work around that too. And so I brought in my picnic napkin looking ribbon. And I thought that would be super cute. I was going to buy a picnic. Um, napkin from Hobby Lobby but then I remembered I had this ribbon and I was like well that will work for that and work for my bow so I can just do that yeah we're just going to do a little two loop bow actually there we go And I'm going more backyard barbecue than patriotic. So I wasn't gonna, I have these blue um, star stripe, star ribbon that you could put in with that. That would be really cute too, but I'm going more summer than patriotic. And so I just did a cute little two loop bow and I'm just gonna take a pipe cleaner and wrap it around it to tie it off. And then I'm gonna clip it off. Take a floral pin 
In case y'all haven't noticed, floral pins are a best friend when it comes to um, designing arrangements. <laughs> they can be your best friend. That's actually a little bit big. I don't have it super tight, so I'm just gonna pull these tails if I can and make my loops a little bit smaller. Well, that's not working. I guess I have it tighter than I thought, which is a good thing. It's how you're supposed to tie your bows. But right now I need it to work for me. It's not working, so I gotta untie it. Make that a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. I just don't want it too big up in there. Just twist that little piece back on. Right, let's go ahead and get that glue set on there. So that that won't go anywhere and then we'll fluff it out. And I'm going to go ahead and dovetail these. Nice and short. And then we can work around that. Get back in there and dry. Okay, let's move on to uh, some more fillers. So I bought these off of Etsy and I thought they were so stinking cute. They're just a beautiful light blue and they're super fun for summertime. So I thought these would be absolutely adorable in here. put back there in the back. Let's see, yeah, we'll go right in there. And then we'll bring these other two. I think we're gonna have one right down here. And bring one out to the side here or come back here with it. I think we'll come out here with it. We could go in the middle. Let's see. If we tighten this up a little bit. Curl it up a little bit more. Uh, I don't like the way it's covering. So we'll just bring it to the back. Super cute little decorations. What else do we have? And we do have some stars. Um, like I said, I wasn't trying to really go patriotic, but you could put some stars in here. I think what I'm going to do is just bring in some blue flowers. Some of these are just little buds. Oops. These came from General Wholesale also. these little buds are so pretty. And we're just 
just putting a little color in there. Could go right in there with that one. Let's see, I have one light blue one too that I really like. I like the light blue better than that navy. That light blue is a little bit prettier. And just some nice little coverage right there. Obviously I brought some red and these just came from Michael's. trying to fill that center up now and so now I have some lollipops and these are absolutely adorable now these are a little patriotic but they're summer too they look and they match with those ices and so what I really wanted to do with these was I wanted to take them and let's see they're all the same size I'm gonna go ahead and clip this long just in case but what I wanted to do was bring one in here, obviously. Right there in the middle, because, I mean, that's just super cute. But I wanted to take these two other ones and bring them down as the wheels. And we're only going to do the two front ones. And I know, gosh, my light is not in the right place. Oh, that makes me so mad. Okay, but I'm going to pull these sticks out of here. And I think this is just going to be so stinking cute. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. And just going to glue it right to that little nut right there on the front. I'm going to put a little dab around the edges. And hold those down for a second. But it glues really easily. But I thought this would really help tie it in together. And as soon as I get done, I'll show y'all. But I'm just gluing it right to the front of that wheel. Holding it down for just a second so it can adhere. Now look at that. Isn't that so cute? So I got that idea and then I was like, you know, for Christmas, this would be such a cute idea for Christmas. If you take one of these wagons and you get some red and white lollipops and you're making like a gingerbread theme, or if you just paint, you could totally paint the wagon a different color, totally go Halloween. But I think the carrying the lollipops down that are in your design and carrying them down to the wheels, I think is super cute and really helps finish that off and tie it together. I just thought that was too stinking precious. All right, let's get a few more florals in here. These are from Hobby Lobby. These are just some of the light blue, just to get a little more coverage. Just filling in those little gaps. I don't like that little piece right there. I'm just gonna snip it off. I don't like those leaves either. I'm just gonna snip those off. There we go.
little bud right there. I can bring this red one over here and I'm just filling in some holes now with the rest of my flowers. Let's go ahead and turn this so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this big blue one, I think. I'm gonna put this big blue one behind this hot dog over here. And it helps that hot dog stand up a little too. Let's grab one more red one. Wherever I'm seeing holes, I'm just filling them in. Very inexpensive little filler flowers. Just covering up all that glue and mess that we made back here. Now, if you have more lollipops and you want to work your way, you know, all the way around and cover these, that would be really, really cute too. You could definitely do that. Let's take some of these glue. All right, just finishing off our wagon here. Try to move my light. Can y'all see that a little better? Oh, my wheels are turning. Y'all see that lollipop? <laughs> Let's turn these back around so we can see the front. With our little lollipop wheels, that's so stinking cute. Now, I didn't do anything with this handle, but you can. You know, if you want to stand it up, we could just glue it right there to the back of that. But we'll just leave it down. Someone else can do something with that when they have it. That's on them. All right, guys, but that is a good way to use your products. So, what we have is a $15 wagon. These were, what, virtually free, remember? Because the cups were free. So all I had was the, the um, lightweight spackling and some paint. These were $2.50 each, so we had $5 in this. <clears throat> so basically, we have about $22 in our big stuff. Then I have some filler flowers. For what I use, it's probably 5 bucks. Another $5 for these little curls. So now we're at $32 and then we have some greenery. So we're probably sitting right around 40, maybe $43 for this whole thing. And I would sell this for 85 to hundred. And it was super easy and fun and cute. I absolutely love it. And I hope y'all love it too. Um, this is just a good way to make stuff out of stuff that you can get for a little bit of nothing. So anyway, guys, I hope this inspired you to go make something else like this. That's what this is for. It's for inspiration. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all next time for our next tutorial. I think we're going to make something Halloween. We'll see. Bye y'all.